Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am back with another review of Micro Quadcopter. This time it's from Happy Mobile Snapper 7. Mine is FlySky version. We will check the box, then I will tell something about components. We will check FPV flying and I will tell you my opinion about it. Let's do it. The box is simple, there's only a manual, the quadcopter, USB charger and screwdriver, nothing else. First thing I noticed, the screwdriver isn't actually a screwdriver. I will show you the detail of it, so you will see that easier. Under model there is a one cell LiPo battery. It tells us 30 C rate and 450 mAh. And this simple USB charger, you just plug the battery in, plug the USB to your computer and you are charging it. The manual is pretty simple, there's some instructions about components about the transmitter, some basic configurations and the charging of batteries, so that's pretty useful. About the components, the flight controller is F3 with integrated receiver, mine version is FlySky, you can choose First Sky, FlySky or DSM Mix. The motors are 0703 size and 19,000 kV, the propellers are 40 mm. The regulator is also integrated on flight controller, it's 4-in-1 and I believe it's uh, 5 amperes. The propeller guards are from aluminum, so they seem to be durable. This cover is plastic, there is a USB so you can connect it to your computer. The battery is held by this rubber. I haven't found the model yet, but I already had to repair it. I used hot glue here and here because there were two screws missing, that's really bad point. And how I see it before flying, this is like tiny hoop, it is almost the same weight, but it could fly a little bit better because it's brushless version and also this aluminium parts make it pretty durable, so I pretty like the idea of durable, more durable tiny hoop and we will see how it will fly. Let's go!
That was my find with Snapper 7, as you've seen, pretty nice to control. I am used to fly racing 5 inch quadcopters, so this one or any other tiny hoops are pretty slow for me. But for indoor usage, I think this is pretty nice model. Uh, the frame is durable, but there is a lot of little screws and I think it will came loose or you will lose a few of these screws. But you can always put a new one inside. And that's it. Pretty nice to control. Little bit slow for me, but nice model. Thanks for visiting my channel. If you would like to see more reviews from me, please subscribe to it and see you in the next video. Bye bye.